Hi guys, you're watching Steve the Transit Camper and I'm in Egypt and I'm at the Caves Resort in Hergada. Let me tell you what I think of it. The last video I saw of this, the waterfalls weren't running, but they seem to be fixed now. So this is the Caves Resort in Hergada, and we've been here a couple of days already. So let me show you what you need to know about this place. So this is the reception. Awesome. So this is the view from our swim up pool, from our room. And we can go straight down the stairs into the pool, which I do have to say is very, very cold. You do have to get used to it, but we made it yesterday. This is a quick scan of the room. So this is the bathroom in our room. Got a nice big mirror, sink obviously, toilet, and the shower. Which ran a bit hot and cold, but it's okay. We're happy with that. And you got tea and coffee, two bottles of water every day. And a fridge. Now there's a big wardrobe with a full length mirror. You've got the safe inside, set your own code. This isn't great, but we find the omelette and the hash browns really nice. All right, guys, so that was breakfast. There's plenty of sort of continental stuff. Us English, we like a cooked breakfast, but you can't get that here, but you can get an omelette and you can get hash browns or their version of them. And they're quite good, really. We're happy with breakfast, but it's nothing to write home about. All the meals are served in the main canteen and there are snack bars around. Betty's bar, what time's that open, baby? 12 o'clock till six o'clock is Betty's bar and you can get snacks there at some point like pizzas and chips. We haven't tried that yet, but we'll try that at some point. But it's definitely better than Long Beach Hotel, which is in Hergarda, where we were uh, in March, April. 
So uh, the food is definitely better here. It's gotta be said. So we're really pleased at the minute. Right, so we're just going through Betty's bar now. We're going for the Adam and Eve package at the spa, which is on site. It costs us 150 pound and it's a bit of pampering and then an hour's massage after. So we'll let you know what that's like. We'll see if it's worth the money. Hello. How are you? <laughs> so we've had our massage and it was absolutely superb. So we had uh, got, got covered in mud, then we got covered in salt, I think it was. Then chocolate and they washed us down. And then we had an hour long massage, which was absolutely terrific. So we're at Betty's bar now. And the chips that they've just put in front of us look absolutely amazing. Proper English chippy shop chips, let me show you. Look at them, they are brilliant. So beer wise, it's like a craft lager really. It's really nice. And you get a free cap with every drink. So we chose just a couple of margarita pizzas. What other flavor was it babe? Salami. Salami was the other. That is really good, garlicky. Mm. It's good pizza. And looking around this bar, we could have had chicken burger, beef burger, all with chips. So it's pretty good. Don't need to go hungry. Absolutely beautiful weather, as it is every day. And we're not even going to make it to the main canteen today, where I know that there will be some lovely roast chicken and some lovely braised beef. And I'm going to miss out on that which really annoys me, but baby says, I'm not allowed to go there today because we've just eaten. So we're back at home base now. Baby is heading for the sun. She's gonna have a lounge in the sun now. I stay in the shade, it's too much for me. It's about 29 degrees here and it's November now. So it's all good. So I don't wanna go on about the food, <clears throat> but I will say if you're worried about the food in the Egyptian hotels, you don't need to worry about this one. There is plenty of different stuff to eat. And uh, I'm the biggest moaner about food. The last hotel we stayed in was Long Beach. Have a look at my review on that, it's here. And basically the food was pretty poor, gotta be said. Here, it's fine, no problem at all. And we have got three restaurants to book. So you get three tickets given you. You have to book them on the day. And that's like an a la car or a special restaurant. Uh, we haven't even checked in to any of them yet, but we will. And uh, I'll try and do a bit of a video of that. So while I'm sat here, let's just have a quick talk about the Wi-Fi. So the Wi-Fi in the room is 10 euros and you get 20 gigabytes of data there. So you go to the main reception, you say you want Wi-Fi in your room. Uh, they book a time, it's a couple of hours later. And then the guy comes around with a router, puts it on your side, connects it all to the phone and then you've got your Wi-Fi. When you run out of data, you go back to the hotel uh, lobby and tell them you want some more data, it's another 10 euros. And the Wi-Fi has been good. I think I lost it for about an hour last night, which got on my nerves, because that's when I wanted to use it. But generally, it's been there every time we've logged in. So that's good. Oh, I should say at the same time, if you want any other Wi-Fi, you can go to Betty's bar, you can go to the lobby and you can sit there for free on the Wi-Fi until you ask content, so it's no problem if you want to keep in touch with family and friends. So guys, it was mostly fish tonight, but you can always got the home banker, let me show you. Chicken and chips, can't beat it. Baby's gone for pasta tonight. So that's dinner over. What time is it, baby? We came out at seven, so it's probably quarter to eight. So we've come down to the main bar. 
having a look at the main stage now. We'll see what's going on. And we'll have a nice little drink. This is the drink that seems to be the most popular. It's called One of a Million. And we think it's, what do we think it's based? It's like Pineapple a, and... It's like a lighter version of pina colada, I think, without yeah. like the, milk, whatever, the milky, is it coconut milk? They put in I'm pina not colada. sure. But it's nice, unless you go to that bar where they make it so strong, it's ridiculous. It's a bit more sensible here as a rule. Right, so we are back from Barney's Bar, where all the entertainment is, and um, we're absolutely shattered. We've had a great night, though. Time for sleep. See you in the morning. So we've just been to the salon, which is right behind us there. And that was absolutely brilliant. We had a full facial thing and massage. Really good. It's windy out here, so I'm not going to talk. So we're back from the spa and we're heading down towards the beach. We'll show you what it's like there. So this is the walk. It is literally five minutes from our swim up room. And there's one path to get you there. So nice and easy. but there isn't. So back to Betty's bar first. Maybe it's just um, seasonal or something. Yeah, maybe seasonal. There's plenty of buildings, but there's no food being cooked here. So we're back in Betty's bar. We've ordered a chicken burger and chips and a beef burger and chips. It's good. Way to service. Can't go wrong. Well, I think something got lost in translation, but that's what it is. Restaurant, having something to eat. Lovely. And that without doubt was the best lasagna I've ever had. So the food's good, trust me. So we're heading to the restaurant now. You get to, to use three restaurants. You get three tickets at the start of the week and you have to go and stand in a queue to book a table. Not everyone will get one. We got one and we're off to the grill tonight. So we're going to try it. And the restaurant is up there.
So we're back from our fine dining experience. It was all right, it wasn't too bad. Probably give it about five, six out of 10. Didn't ask us how we wanted our steaks. He's just got it served. And it was all a bit rust really, wasn't it? Yeah, but it was all right. It was all right. For free and included in your hotel guide, that was, that was okay. Well, I couldn't help myself. Called in the restaurant on the way home just to have a look. Gotta have a little taster of this. And a pudding. Back in the hotel room, absolutely shattered. Must be quarter past one, quarter two, something like that. It's not, it's nine o'clock at night. We're done. Had a long day today, been in a pool and everything. And it catches up with you when you're a bit older. But we're gonna have a cheeky Jack Daniels and baby's gonna have a Southern Comfort. And then we'll probably retire. Catch you in the morning. So I've been dragged to the beach to give you my final summary. So this is on the Caves Resort in Hergarda. Uh, on arrival reception, absolutely lovely. They uh, booked us in, sorted us all out. That was good. Then we waited for the concierge to take us to our room. That was a long, long wait. So we decided to just go ourselves. We didn't have any luggage, so we found our room in the end. Other people said they were waiting there for ages. So that was a disappointment. But it was a nice warm welcome. We got to our room, very happy with the room. Uh, out of five stars, what would I give the room? It's probably a three, three and a half. It's not amazing, but it's okay. Shower runs hot and cold. Sometimes it's just cold. Sometimes it's just too hot. Uh, but you do get that in big hotels, to be fair. Uh, sleeping, absolutely lovely. Slept like a baby all night, most nights. Uh, food wise, so when you come down in the morning, breakfast is poor. We have spoke to Irish, Scottish, English, when you're just chatting around and they've all had a poor comment for breakfast. So we'd have to give that probably two out of five. If you don't like omelette or bland cereals, it's disappointing. Otherwise, in the main restaurant, the food's good, I would say. There's a good choice, probably of three mains every uh, lunchtime and evening and they're good quality. I had lasagna last night, absolutely one of the best lasagnas I've ever tasted, to be honest, it was beautiful. <laughs> Mrs. Babe is annoyed by that because she cooks lasagna, but it was really, really good. So yeah, I'd say the food is okay. What would I give the food out of five? I'd probably give it a four, to be fair. It loses a point because of the breakfast. But if you're worried about the food, there is no reason to go hungry. It's okay. Uh, everything else, the beach, beautiful. It's a rocky beach, so it's not nice underfoot, so you need some footwear for in the sea. It's shallow for a long, long way out, and then it drops off. So yeah, so the complete holiday experience, I'm gonna score, it's difficult. I'm gonna score it three and a half to four out of five. Would we come again? I don't think we'd come again, would we, baby? We just wouldn't come to Egypt again. We found some of the hotel staff rude, the same as at the Long Beach Resort. Again, that's common, that's talking around with other people. Some of the lads just do not want to work here and you can feel it every time you speak to them. Just getting a latte in the morning. There's a miserable guy who's serving the coffees. He just doesn't smile. I've challenged him. I said, well, you know, why don't you smile, cheer up and they give you a sarcastic big grin. But yeah, some of the people definitely don't want to work here. But at the bar that we really liked, which is Betty's Bar, the guy who's running that, he's there every day, he's absolutely on it. And when you have glasses empty, he's straight over or he sends a member of staff over and he keeps his bar top notch. It's clean. He, he knows how to uh, run a, you know, a little bar. Very, very good. So you'll be getting a tip at the end of it. But in the main restaurant, the guys just don't want to be here. They really don't. You can tell. And that's not just us, that's everyone who said the same thing. But I think that's probably Egypt. The jobs are limited and uh, you have to make a career of it. But that's my summary. I, I would recommend people can go, that's fine. But uh, are we coming to Egypt again? <laughs>